How many this time I have? <laughs> Hold on a sec. Can you do that one more time for the children at home? That's very easy I like to call breakfast with the fam. Take a look around. What happens when you say, hey, let's have breakfast together, ready to go, on time. We get shoe polish and coffee. It, dude, we gotta go. Like we're literally supposed to be leaving in like two minutes. Somebody's getting a little comfortable. Yay. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm gonna enjoy some dumping and pranks and hopefully we get to school on time because that would be horrible not to get to have a great weekend if we don't get to school on time. And no, we not get to God's school. If it was with him. We can do a homeschool today. Yeah, I could give him so much schoolwork. That'd be so much fun. Just call the school, find out what he oh, missed. Santa, I bet he does, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Get out of here. But anyway, some pranks and dumplings out to you. Someone who did great. Bring it home. All right, time to eat. Dave, time to eat. Hmm. Here we go. You wanna tell me how late you are this morning? May I tell you something? What? Go ahead. Oh. Exactly, yes. Me and Dave are having, we'll call them professional differences because where I come from, we like to be on time. This is a, a cultural clash. Can we call it that? Cue the fancy promo culture clash. I come from an environment. Oh, here comes his attorney to speak no, up on his behalf. Go ahead. No, not his attorney. You go to school like 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh-huh. And? And come back 4 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, but we actually go to school on time and have to be there on time. Not you go just up whenever. in your classroom, that's why. You are the teacher for the class, so you go up in your classroom. So you got to be there on time and then you wake up to pick in them pick and go to school early. So. Uh-huh. Okay. And now we know. Cultural differences. Great. Jimmy's wondering where, where. What does that mean exactly? A play day. Like, like a play. All you do is play. Yes. All day. Yes, I eat lunch. So you don't do any school. No. No learning. Only, only. Yes, it. And we do is our spelling first. Uh huh. Then. In line here, uh -huh. I make you do anything you want to do. The whole day? Yes, whole day. Is Till it every, 2 o'clock. Every Friday or just the first Friday? I do 2 o'clock school I open up. Is that, is that every Friday you have play day or is it just... Every Friday. Uh -huh. okay. 2 o'clock supposedly. What time do you want to tell you? Oh boy. This could take a while. School? Yes. Happy day? Say something, man. Now, what is good today? That's not my thing. Good job, Junior. You did it. Anything else? Big up, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are in tea time talk round two. So when you just ate a dumpling. 
car. And we're talking today about the difference uh, we have when it comes to the fancy P word. You know what the P word is, dear? No, a lot of things with P word, man. Ain't that the truth? Punctuality. That's the morning morning agenda. Punctuality. This one. Let me fix. Get you a little bit higher up here. There we go. Oh, too high. I gotta sit back. Sit back. Relax. Enjoy the show, honey. I'm gonna just, can I just throw the question out there, take off the band-aid and just let it out? Well, Why do you feel that punctuality, you know what punctuality is? Keep on moving, get up early. Mm, no, it's the ability to show up on time. To be punctual means that you're- Yeah, get up early to do whatever you have to do to go out before time catch up on you. Right, but why do you feel it is not so where I come from, let me start with this, where I come from. Where you come from, where you come from? You don't know where I come from? <laughs> I don't want to the answer that USA, question. The United, you know the place you used to live? Yeah, where I, I, I come from. I don't remember if I even live in the United States. It's deemed, dare I say, disrespectful to show up late to an appointment or late to a time in which you said you're going to show up. But... That's maybe not always the case. Maybe. Start, um, why don't you start with school? Because this is not like you're going anywhere, any, anytime, any, any, blah, blah, blah. It's not like you're going anywhere. Right, but if, so just in general, is, if you say you're going to meet somebody at a certain time and you yeah. show up late, is it that big of a deal? Good morning. Have a good day at school. You're welcome. Um, yes, that's my So let's job. say, hypothetically, you said you're going to meet somebody at 7, and you don't show up till 7.20, 7.30. Is, is that person supposed to be vexed with you? Yeah, they will go and leave you. They ain't going to wait. They aren't? No, because if, if I'm supposed to be somewhere at a certain time, and I go there and not see you, I'm gone, because I'm late. I don't want to make you make me late. Really? No, whether or not we're going somewhere, why am I going to sit and wait, even if I'm going to school? I always go and leave my brother and on him. But do you think as a culture, like, being on time is not something that's super... You got to be on time. If you're going to work or school or wherever you're going, you got to be on time. Whether it's church, school, work. So as long as you put a mindset, so you got to be somewhere this time. You're supposed to be like five minutes early or ten minutes early, not on just show up exact time or two minutes after that's late yeah okay. so on time mean you gotta be above the time limit that you are set to reach does that make sense no <laughs> all right so so we're gonna work on getting places on time, on time. yes when you have, okay fair enough Anything else you want to address in this exchange yeah. of words? Next thing I want to do is big up to our Payan Arifan that I've met recently. Oh. They, she was very nice, um, warm welcome. I never really know her until when she hugged me and said, hello. Um, I said, oh, can you tell me we are again? <laughs> and she said, oh, um, uh, uh, so, um, subscriber of mm. your channel and thing and it was so nice yeah. you know meeting them and stuff so yeah thank you guys for subscribing to our channel and i don't really know her name but <laughs> i'm digging her up anyway she yeah knows <laughs> yeah she knows who she are yeah. so <laughs> big up to you guys and yeah. i really appreciate it yeah ready to tackle it the day. was yep yeah Speaking of being yeah. on time, we got some things we need to get done today. So, yeah, what do you say? Brushed? Wow. Brush? What do you say? Brush? Brush. Brush? 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 Oh boy. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, but they'll say cheers. Okay. And this has been another tea time. And now you know. <laughs>
Look at that face. That's a face of excitement right there. Anyway, we are headed to... Where are we going? Up to the hospital to get that farm. Okay, so we are going up... She right hasn't there. exactly woken up yet, so just give her a moment. It's, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning. No, we are going up by Portmore to get the paper. Um, carry that paper up there to get a insurance card. So okay. Yeah. What she's trying to get out is we are going to turn in the beneficiary application form for the National Health Fund so Sonia can get a discount on her medications for her high blood pressure that she's taking religiously. Hmm. So we're going to the Port Maria Hospital, supposedly. You ever been there before? No. Great. There we go. Play a game. Guess what town we're in based on Sonia's pace. You guessed it, this is the Highgate stride. Slowly yeah. but surely wins the race. Ladies and gentlemen, proud of Sonia moment, she told the driver in front of everybody that she needed to come off at the hospital. Look at that confidence. Let's do this. We'll find out. Sonia's got the Port Maria pace today. She's going strong. <laughs> so, I guess so. Okay, I will say one of the perks of living in Jamaica is going out for lunch. Today's adventure is from Chicken Hut. Mm -hmm. Never had chicken up before, but I'll tell you this, man, coming from Hawaii, you could not get this food for the prices here in Jamaica, obviously. So lunch runs you, this is the medium size. Mm. Looks like a lot. Should have got a small, yeah, I know. They give you plenty of food and this translates to about five US dollars for your lunch, so. Mm. Not bad. Can't complain about that. Would you like to provide any reflective wisdom for the universe? Hmm? Yeah, Bobby, do what you think you <laughs> Critic of the year here over here. <laughs> Describe that flavor palette of hers. Just yep. tastes good. That's all you gotta know. Mm -hmm. Try it out. Yeah. Chicken Hut good. Port Maria. Only problem is, you'll notice, we're back home now because there's not a lot of seating. In fact, I don't think there was any seating, mm -hmm. so be ready to take it with you, but lunchtime, we're gonna enjoy. Mm -hmm. hmm. There's cool. no seating in there anyway. Yeah, that's what I just said. I just bar. Uh-huh. Good? Mm -hmm. Nothing else? Mm -hmm. Sure? Bye. Have a good day. Nice. Andre, Craig, what are you guys eating today? Guava. <laughs> How does it taste? Good. What does it taste like? It's too, it's too much freeze. Yeah. Tastes like too much what? freeze? It was in a fridge. Put them in that fridge. It's the best kind of guava there is to have. In the fridge? Hmm? Wow. I can't put it in the Wow. Complaining about generous fridge guava. I'm gonna sit down now and enjoy my iced coffee. Good afternoon to you too. Enjoy your chilled guava. Some people where I come from consider that a delicacy. Yeah. What's a delicacy? Back to my coffee. Dominoes, man, let's go. Seven dominoes. Seven dominoes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here this afternoon. The coffee is almost gone. Therefore, it's time to compete at one of the most coveted games. Craig's going to show you his domino. <laughs> Craig's showing you. Andre, seven dominoes. Seven. Seven. Craig picked one from me. No, do you have seven? You got to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now if you have the domino that has two sixes on it, you get to play it first. 
Because I know I don't. No. Whoa! Man, no, look at no Andre. Six. <laughs> Andre. Andre's in kindergarten and he can hold up all his dominoes. It's an important no. skill to have. No. No. no, six on both sides. Yes, two or six. No, but do I? I don't He must have it, and that's one of you dudes, too. Yeah. Yeah, alright, play it right there in the middle. 360 domino view. Alright, Craig. Do it to it, man. Let's go. Right there? Yep. Wow. That's an interesting hand. You get a little over there. No, you go clockwise. That we are going that way. We are spinning on that. Oh man. Yeah, Sonia. Sonia conveniently strategizing with a floss stick in her mouth this morning. No, this afternoon. Trying to intimidate mm -hmm. us. She's like, look at me, I'll floss and play dominoes at the same time. All right, Andre, do you have a six or a one? Oh, I know, that was a horrible idea. Look at us in a one. A six or a one. Play that six zero you had. You got six? Um, <laughs> you're not sure what you on that. Play the six something, or the one something. Okay. Five and one, sir. No, you can't block again. This is Craig, by the way. He likes to take his sweet time. Oh, yeah, he's not in any rush. What are you playing? That's wrong. What are you playing? That's wrong. Wow. I love when you trash talk and then make a fool of yourself. Live, on camera. I think I will one. <laughs> wow. Anyway. anyway, we're going to play some dominoes now, so see you on the other side. Okay, now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, ladies and gentlemen, but this is my last piece. And I'm, I don't play dominoes very well, apparently, according to some people. Huh? I just want everybody to be aware that the first game has gone to this guy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, um, for playing. Let's try again next time. We'll see. We got three. Wow. First game. I don't know, first game. I still got it. I need a bump or something. I still got it. No, I used to do that. No, so, yeah, no, I get two. Weird. No, yeah, you really want me three? I get three. <laughs> Done. Okay, and a quick switch to manual mode. Just a quick uh, heads up score update. Tyler has Thanks, how many? Man. How many does Tyler have? <laughs> Hold on a sec. Can you do that one more time for the children at home? That's very easy. Andre, how many wins do you have? Um, how many times have you won? One? Craig, how many times have you won? <laughs> Craig's won the shuffle. <laughs> oh, wait, I can know I know Craig's not. As you can see right through it. You see that number, Craig? Can you see it? What is that number? Yeah, three for this guy and Sonia. <laughs> I can I Look, that's Whoa. her number. I can see through it. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep going. You see this? This is a, what we call good sportsmanship. This is the face of yeah, good sportsmanship that, right here. Yeah, you see this? You see this? I uh, guess who we'll winning? Ha 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 ha! I got win. So I we're trying to teach the kids how to be good winners and not <laughs> yeah. sore losers. And this is the example we get. You see? <laughs> see that? You see that? That's what we get. Anyway, Sonia ended up somehow pulling it off. I ended up with four games. Andre got two. And Craig? Hold on, let's see if we can see the number Craig got. It's, see that number right there? You can see him eat his nails through his number. Isn't that great? <sighs> we'll get him next time. Yay. Okay, meanwhile, after a rough game of Domino's banana update. I can hear Sonia making fun of me from the house. I can hear you, you know, trying to show off the backyard but i'm not actually here for the banana i'm here to find the papaya we planted because i haven't been back here for a little while so you're getting a first person perspective view to see if they're 
still here or not because like I said it's it's been a little while since we've been back here and let's see strike oh look at these two guys still going strong amongst the weeds nice that's cool that's one oh 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 look at these guys one yeah several of them I'll pull out the little ones all right papaya seedlings coming to a local market near you but we'll keep the big ones up ready to go what else oh. the bush is taking them back i said no yeah i gotta definitely thin these out and thin those out and cool thin those out so think we we got some rain and my papayas are still alive call this a success and try to get back to the house without stepping on something I shouldn't. Cool. Oh, okay. We might not have got Aki in Hawaii, but our Aki tree here is doing just fine. He'll be ready in no time. Take that, Hawaii. Sure. You got two out of three pieces or two out of five pieces. Which one's going to be more pizza? Another one. So how do you read that? Two three is greater than two five. Good. Two eight is greater than one two. Good. Equal is right. Why? Because they might see a number there. So how much pizza is that? One more. For each of them? Yes. Good. Level number is greater than 40. All right, we call this 9 p.m. dinner time, apparently, for the young people, because dinner time was a while ago for some of us, but at 9, 9, 12 p.m., don't let that study book fool you. Yeah, I can change the focal point. No, I can't. I'm trying. It's not working. Anyway, yeah. You guys have a good night. And do you think that's bad? Check this out. How you doing, babe? You good? Yeah, You sure? You want to say have a good night or anything? Or is it already past your bedtime? What? Past your bedtime. Ah, good night, guys. <laughs>this is late night mosquito hunting edition with Craig zapped a couple already you might have got them all oh there's one. Oh, there's probably the same one yep welcome to Jamaica <laughs>